What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Kevin Hart, Cat Williams, everything that's been going on. The reason why I'm a little bit late on this is because I was actually on a bit of a New Year's vacation. I think I told everybody this on my uh, last live stream on New Year's Eve, right? Well, <laughs> I was probably going to stay going for a little while longer until this uh, whole thing blew up. And I kind of sat back a little bit and, and I watched the aftermath and I wanted to wait a little bit to see what Kevin Hart specifically was going to say, because out of everybody that was uh, named by Cat Williams, he was the one who I particularly wanted to hear from because it seems to me that him, I mean, Cat Williams and Kevin Hart have been going back and forth with each other for years. This is nothing new. Um, it's not like this revelation where he's just speaking out about Kevin Hart. They've had their back and forth before. But I think that Kevin Hart's response, I think, makes this whole situation. It, it solidifies what Cat Williams said. There's a lot of people who are going in on Kevin, uh, Kevin Hart even more because he tried to respond twice and it flopped. You know, he tried to his first response and we're going to get into it. You know, he talked about how basically he felt like the situation was sad, right? He was, I believe, a part of NBA Unplug with uh, ESPN. I think this is a part of the ESPN coverage. And he tried to respond a few times. And we're going <laughs> to, we're going to get into this. Come on, Kel. Like, you basically proved Cat Williams right. Because when I saw that, 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 that interview with Cat Williams on the club Shay Shay podcast, there was, there were parts of it where you were like, yeah, not only is cat naturally funny, he's very believable. He can be very serious. Cause, cause the thing about cat Williams is that he wasn't trying to be funny. That's just who he is. But Kevin, but Kevin Hart is one of those guys, those comedians, they have to go out of their way to try to make you laugh and he tried to do that in his response and it did not work and he is getting <laughs> he is getting destroyed uh in the comments so let's get to the uh, let's get back let's go back a little bit i told y'all on the bit of a vacay so i wasn't able to uh speak on this when it first blew up but let's go back just a little bit and let's check out the responses to what Cat Williams had to say. Okay, now we're going to start here from TMZ. Cat Williams predicted his Club Shay Shay interview would have the internet in shambles. And now some of the guys he attacked are fighting back. All of them are fighting back. Kevin Hart called Cat's comments sad a Thursday, but didn't squander the opportunity to plug his new action movie Lift. With all the unsolicited buzz from the interview. So he basically turned it into a promotional thing, which is, you know, shout out to Kevin. You know, never, never let go of an opportunity to capitalize because we are in a capitalistic society, whether some of y'all like it or not. And this tweet here, let's go to uh, the tweet here if we can. It says, uh, gotta get that anger up out your champ. It's honestly sad. And in the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in eight days. There is a moment in the trailer where, uh, I guess uh, this person, uh, says they really love you. I know, I, I now know she's talking about Cat. Mark your calendars, world. This one is special. So he has another Netflix film that is coming out. So he wanted to plug that. Cat essentially labeled Kevin a Jussie Smollett of comedy, a charlatan who was planted in the movie industry after arriving in Los Angeles from Philly without any real buzz and claims to have turned down plenty of lowbrow roles that Kevin Hart happily scooped up you know i actually recorded an audio yesterday i didn't put the audio up as a video form I, I wanted to to do this instead um and i spoke about how 
Kevin Hart does a lot of things in movies that is very questionable. He has. Yes, he's put on the dress. He's done some questionable scenes. There was a scene out of a uh, show that he was that he was doing years ago where he was pulled over by Shaq, who was playing a police officer. and He got dry humped on on his car by Shaq's character in that show. I don't think Cat Williams would ever do something like that. But Kev Kevin Hart did that. I'm pretty sure he could have got that taken out, but he chose to keep it in there. He's getting dry humped on his car. I mean, it just that's the type of stuff Cat Williams is talking about. Questionable scenes, doing questionable things. Why are you doing these things? He's calling Kevin Hart an industry plant because of it, because the things that he says no to, Kevin Hart is willing to say yes to. And I think that is one of the contentious things that he's saying he said not only am i funnier than this guy i have more morality than this guy this guy will do anything to make money he would do anything to get a role he never says no kevin hart will say no to will, will never will, he'll say no to nothing and i think that can be a problem as well when you're willing to do anything that's asked of you even if it denigrates you as a man Kevin and Kat have been at odds for years. Kevin claimed Kat flamed out on drugs during a 2015 Breakfast Club interview to which Kat recently told Shannon Sharp he's never done a hard drug in his life. Not to be outdone, Michael Blackson did let Kat slide for accusing him of using a fake African accent throughout his career, but still gave him his props at the end of the day. As you can see from the tweets there, Kat Williams definitely top 10 comedians of all time. And top five alive, but we all have to agree he's not the cat of 2005. He says, Top five black comedians alive Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Martin Lawrence, Kevin Hart, Mike Epps, Cedric, Earthquake, and guess who number 10 is? You be Mother Sucker. So I'm confused. I'm African with a fake African accent. My accent had me roasted every day in school and in the comedy clubs in America. And I wish I could get rid of it. Even my Philly accent is fake. I guess the only thing real about me is my, okay. Uh, never been booed ever, but I've watched Cat get booed in two cities, Cincy, and I forgot the other city, effed up bleep, in Cincy, where he's from. He's effed up when your own people booze you according to mike cat ranks number four the best card went through all that uh, this is from cedric the entertainer revisionist history regarding regardless of whatever cat's opinion of my career can't be reduced to one joke cat williams claims as his i've been i've been over 40 movies my specials and brand speaks volumes for uh, i am of the people I have put on, including Cat in the Hat at the Gibson Amphitheater. And all that tough talk is corny as F. I'm a grown ass man, and none of that gonna go like you think. You do, you, and I got this over here. Uh, let's see. Cat also got a rise out of Ricky Smiley today regarding their beef that began on Ice Cube's Friday at the next set. Much like the others, he says Cat has the facts messed up. Well, I mean, this is the truth according to Cat, right? The truth according to Cat. This is this is why we're all here because Cat Williams feels like he wants the world to know the truth and not feel like they are being lied to. Listen. These are entertainers. I, I don't take any of this seriously. All of these people are entertainers at the end of the day. Cat Williams, I feel, was pushed out of the industry. I really do. But it hasn't stopped him from doing Netflix specials, going on the road. Kevin, Kevin Hart, to me, is a guy who is being put out there as like the top black comedian actor right following the footsteps of your eddie murphy's and your martin lawrence's even though martin lawrence is a naturally talented funny guy there's always like that one right that they let in right 
Kevin Hart is that guy. Let's get to uh, what Kevin Hart had it, it, this response. This was crazy. Let's let's go to it. Uh, where we at? Uh, now, now, hopefully, I don't get any flags from this, but let's get to what he had to say. Oh, oh. Ain't nothing to Cat Williams when he did a three-hour uh, interview talking slow yesterday. <laughs> you didn't put a shot clock on him. <laughs> do, you, do you entertain the circus or do you watch it, Kurt? Which one do you do? <laughs> Hey, 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 Kev, you, you didn't say nothing to Cat Williams when he did a three-hour uh, interview talking slow yesterday. <laughs> you didn't put a shot clock on him. <laughs> well, do, you, do you entertain the circus or do you watch it, Kurt? Which one do you do? <laughs> All right, now, let's see. New York Knicks. I don't know if you guys know this, but Cat Williams bought the Knicks. He definitely bought it. He bought the Knicks, yeah. and uh, it's rumored that he took the Knicks back. Returned them with a receipt. That's yeah, you could do that. You yeah. didn't know you could do the that. The first person ever did. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. they gave him a 30 day policy. He, had a, well, he bought them for 15 days and returned them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's so another fun fact about the yeah. New York Knicks. He made the team. He, made, he played. He played. He, oh, he played. He played, he played with the Knicks. He played with them. He played with them. We That's know he's fast. They say he's fast. Yeah, he run a sub one of the fastest. A 3.9. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you say? A well, sub 3.9. He figured out how to play basketball from reading all the yeah. books. 3,000 of them. 3,000 yeah. a year. A, a year. And, That's yeah. two a day. Yeah. At six years old. <laughs> That's two a day. <laughs> Y'all notice the only one laughing is Kevin. <laughs> the only one out of that whole situation that's real laughing is Kevin. Kevin is... Making himself laugh. That's that, that's how uh, that's, I don't know if them dudes. I mean, them dudes made the whole thing even more like it made it more comical that them dudes what they were straight faced the whole time, and there and the dude that in the gray shirt was selling the jokes more than Kevin Hart was. <laughs> Yo, this is this is what I'm saying, man. Like. Like this is why people say what they say about Kevin Hart and not being funny. I don't. I think Kevin. Honestly, I think when Kevin just doesn't try so hard, I think he can be more. He can show more of that side as far as being funny when he takes himself a little bit more seriously instead of trying to be funny all the time and just be himself. I think he might be more funny being himself than trying to be funny. But that's just who he is. That's his. He lives his character. Kevin Hart has become his character, and he lives it. And a lot of comedians are they they like to tell jokes a lot. But you got you know. But you got comedians who are funny when they tell jokes. You could be having a whole conversation with with them, and they'll be making you laugh without them even trying. Kevin is not one of those guys, but he's put out there to be perceived as a guy who's very funny, very entertaining. And I believe Cat Williams has an issue with that because he doesn't believe he doesn't believe it's very genuine. He really doesn't. Kids ever do it? They kept it a secret for, for forty eight years. They kept it a secret and they, it just dropped on us. Well, speaking well, of which, it was his hiking on side of the street yeah. at thirteen. Yeah. So they couldn't He's, find it. Speaking of which, Kev, you've you've had a busy week. Yeah, yeah, but a tough one. Yeah, real real busy week, fellas. <laughs> a real busy one. So I wanted y'all to. Uh, <laughs> see that and interpret that however you want but a lot of people that cat williams spoke on they're not too happy what he had to say and y'all got to understand something this is all his from his perspective but he came across as very believable he came across as a guy who was very genuine and a guy who was naturally funny who doesn't like to deal with people who aren't talented in his eyes and he feels like a lot of the people that made it are not very funny and there were people who caught strays uh earthquake uh phase on love even though phase on love i did think I, I there's a video of phase on love and i may go more into it when i go live speaking like you know cat williams is just not that talented and, and he caught one is Listen, man, there's a lot that goes on with these comedians. I think a lot goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about because these comedians are in the same circles. So I think Cat Williams had to see Steve Harvey. He had to see Cedric the Entertainer, Ricky Smiley, all going to Shannon Sharp's platform. 
and speak on his name. That is the only reason why we're hearing from Cat Williams. Cat Williams is not trying to destroy these people. Cat Williams is, is not trying to ruin these people. I think that Cat Williams saw what they were doing and said, you know what? I can do, I could do one better than that. I can go on that platform myself and I can let the world know that y'all are frauds. Oh, I don't think you're that funny. So let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts, like this video, and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram. I'll see y'all on this one.